the Miami team a, a lot of, uh, you know, compliments. They did a heck of a job today and won a football game, a hard-fought battle. I uh, was proud of our team. They played hard. You know, uh, there's no – you know, there's no doubt in my mind our guys are playing hard. They're, there's no quit in them. They, they, uh, they're, they're a tight group. Uh, they're not divisive. They don't point fingers. Uh, they go out there and they care about each other. They love each other and they play hard together. And, uh, but we're still, uh, we've still made too many mistakes to, to overcome to win a football game, especially a really, against a really good football team. Larry, what was the, the difference from last week, what happened in Blacksburg to today? Uh, you know, we, we, we ran the ball better. We played better up front. We, uh, you know, our, our protection was better. Uh, you know, just overall, we played better as a football team. The pass interference. Did you hear from the booth that the ball may have been tipped? If so, did you bring up the officials and get maybe any explanation from them? Yeah, that's what I heard from, the, from our guys. But, uh, and, I, and it was, I was told it was looked at, so. Coach, you look at the stat sheet, you guys won in first downs, total offense, time of possession. Most Wait. of the time, those are games that you win. How frustrating is it? To uh, it's not, you don't win when you turn the ball over four times. You, you, you don't give yourself a chance when you turn the ball over four times. It doesn't matter who you play. You know, and that's, that's something that we've had uh, a lot of problems with. And you, if you do that, you, you make it really tough. And that's what's amazing is we, we turned it over three times and we're still in that game and have a chance to win it. You know, and then we turn it over a fourth, and uh, that was pretty much the dagger. Second and goal inside the one after the touchdown was called back. You guys were in a shotgun. Uh, what's the thinking behind going shotgun there, maybe not line up and going power? That's what we do. I mean, that's what we do. We we run our offense. I mean, we're we're that's who we are. We're a we're a we're not a under center football team, but maybe about uh, one percent of the time, and, and that. You know, that's not what we do. So that's not what we practice. So we're going to do what we practice and what we believe in. And, uh, you know, we got to get the ball in. I mean, there's, I mean we, we, we haven't had problems doing that in the past, and so we, we shouldn't have a problem doing that now. you still got to put your hat on the right people, and uh, the running backs got to get the ball in the end zone. That's all there is to it. In terms of protection being better for the offense, it looked better not just in last weekend, but <coughs> and it has a, you know, a majority of the ACC season. Is there anything specific that changed this week that hasn't been improved on before, or is it just? Um, I'm sure that you know Coach Cap challenged those guys. I'm sure he did. You know, all week, and uh, you know they got those kids have a lot of pride in themselves, and they have a lot of pride in their unit, and so I'm sure they uh, they gave a little bit more than uh, than they probably did the week before. You know, as we challenged them to, to when you come in on Sunday to when you look at the tape that that uh, that you shouldn't be able to say that you you could have played harder, you know, and, uh, you know, we, that was the challenge all week. And to, when you step off that field today, know that you gave everything you had, you know, we, we knew there would be some mistakes made and we knew we would face some adversity in the game and, uh, you have to be resilient enough to overcome those things. And, uh, we just, uh, didn't, you know, we made too many mistakes to overcome the ones that we needed to. Why was Brandon Harris not dressed today? He, he couldn't go. When did that happen that he could not go? Uh, I was told uh, yesterday. Actually, today, actually, is when I was told we were hoping he was going to be able to go. Bo Corrales had a career day today. Can you speak to his performance? Yeah, it's just another, you know, he's a true freshman, you know, another kid that's uh, pressed into, uh, you know, to work, and, and he's, you know, he's getting opportunities, and he's making plays, and he's learning, and, it's, you know, I keep saying that every week. It's just another kid after another kid that's getting some, valuable reps that's going to make him better down the road and he's going to be a better football player because of it it's just you know it's uh it's it's you know there's growing pains is all it is and and uh but man there were some i mean i can't emphasize enough how there was a lot of really good things that happened on that football field today and i mean i really am proud of the effort and and the uh uh, I mean, there were a lot of good things overshadowed by the things that we, we didn't do, and that's the, the gut-wrenching stuff right now. But there were, there were a lot of really good plays today. You know, defensively, I mean, our guys played, played their butts off. You know, we just uh, – there were a couple plays. We got to get a guy on the ground, you know, when we give up a play. And, and again, we, it turns into a catastrophic when we don't. And it, those are hard to overcome. Without seeing the film, how do you think Nathan handled things today? Uh, I, I thought he was really gritty. I thought he went in there and uh, played really tough. 
you know, he ran the ball and, and did some things and, and gave us some opportunities. Uh, you know, there was there was one ball that uh, you know that probably needed probably didn't need to throw that he pressed on. But uh, you know what? I mean, that kid for as many reps as he's gotten, you know, he, he went out there and I thought he did a heck of a job. Could Chaz have come back in? Uh, probably, probably could have. You know, but Nathan gave us a spark and and was uh, was uh, was doing well. And so uh, you know, we didn't want to make that change. Next week, Nate looked very solid. He moved the team. Uh, I mean, how was he in preseason? He was three deep, but is he, is he close to maybe getting the uh, regular reps? Yeah, he did some point? good things today. I mean, I, you know, again, we'll we'll get through the uh, open week and and through uh, this uh, this next week, you know, and uh, into the the short week against Pitt, and we'll have to make a decision then. Gone into keeping the spirits high and making sure guys aren't yeah. quitting. And that's that, that that that's really. I, I'm going to tell you that that's the the leadership on this football team. You know, our staff is doing an unbelievable job of keeping those guys positive. Uh, you know, it, it's I got to credit all of them because they're the ones that are making that happen. You know, we're not in that locker room every day. You know, but those seniors are, and and the leaders on this football team are, and they're the ones that are keeping guys positive. You know, they're the ones that have. Uh, you know, or making sure that the young guys understand what the culture is and the way you act and the way you handle yourself and what you need to do. And they're the ones that are teaching those guys. So I, I got to give those guys all the credit for that. You all ran a lot of trick plays, obviously. Two of them went for big trick plays and touchdown. What do you see from the, the defense to do that? And how confident are you with the team execute those? Well, actually, those two plays are plays we've carried the last, uh, I don't know, three or four weeks. You know, we usually, we usually carry at least two in every game. Sometimes we get to them. Sometimes we check out of them because the look's not what we want. Today they gave us the look that we wanted, and those our guys executed them. So, I mean, uh, you know, Ant. I think uh, Ant had what three throws today, you know, and and uh, you know completed two of them, and, and then the other one was the late hit that didn't get called. But uh, you know, they did. They did. Uh, I thought uh, they executed them well. On the fake field goal, was there a guy running a deeper route that? Uh Many miles just didn't see on that play. We had a guy going deeper, yes. You know, but I don't know whether that guy was open or not because I wasn't. That's not what I was looking at, so I couldn't tell you that. But we did have a guy running a corner route behind uh, behind Fritz in the flat. The open week and then followed by a Thursday game at Pittsburgh. What's the plan the next? Uh, well, we got You know, one is is uh, I'd like to say we're going to get some guys healed up, but I don't know that that's going to happen. So we're going to uh, be smart with our guys. This is the latest that we've ever had an open week. And uh, also, you know, we are really banged up. So we've got to be smart about what we do. You know, we're going to try to get some work with some young guys uh, that aren't traveling or that, or that we're trying to redshirt, make sure that we get as much work, fundamental work with those guys as we possibly can to keep bringing them along. Uh, and then we need to uh, keep everybody fresh as, as much as possible. We've got to get them to the race on that Thursday.